I'm sorry, but there are no players in Fortnite that are as good as just Jesus, apparently. His hand doesn't at all match what he's doing. Uh, looks like he's using a single tile macro. Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to me getting exposed for cheating. Before we get into the video, make sure you use my code. It is LDFort in the item shop. Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe with notifications on. So recently I've been getting mentioned a lot in this video and I thought I'd address it. Okay, so right off the bat we have 340 dislikes, 100 likes. Pretty decent ratio. Take a look at the comments. Uh, the comments look pretty negative on the channel. What's going on gamers and Rift supporters? Okay, so if you didn't know, he's made about four to five videos. I think even seven videos. Just <laughs> on Rift, trying to expose him previously. That's why he said Rift supporters. Like a bunch of his supporters started hating on his channel. I think they're they still here. exposing someone else for using a macro. So let's get right into it. Now, welcome back to allegedly clout chasing off people that have more subscribers than I do. Because for some reason, people cannot accept that I just make videos because I want to. Yeah, I would consider clout chasing just completely alligating and not really having any actual proof of someone cheating. So today we're going to be finding someone who perhaps has a worse community than Rift, which is very, very hard to believe. In fact, I doubt that anybody on YouTube could have any worse of a community than Rift does. We're looking at these comments. Uh... Okay, I mean, considering his channel is just filled with hate, I would consider his community a lot worse. <laughs> to be honest, that's just my opinion, though. Um, yeah. This guy just has fast fingers. The ladies must love him. Oh, God. This, the cringe comments from these little baby ass <laughs> kids with Fortnite profile pictures that he seems I'm pretty sure bad. I'm going to be seeing in my comments soon. Um, this video, I noticed people were telling me to look into LD. And before I go any farther, yes, I'm aware that he plays on a controller. Yes, controllers can still have macros. You can still use a macro on a controller. That is a fact. Look it up. Look up how to get a macro on controller. Now, um, this video is called okay so fun fact controller macros are like really blatant and obvious I could show one right now when you macro on controller it's like extremely obvious that you're macro that's not proof that you don't but the proof I don't use macros to edit so I figured we could just go through this video and just debunk it so I guess we'll just start off Okay, so his proof of me macroing is just him debunking my video that I already posted that has like a high like to dislike ratio. There's like no dislikes on it, but he's just gonna go through it and debunk. With watching this, if in this video I use settings to me edit a lot faster, if this video gets seventy thousand likes, I'll post them. Uh huh. Sure. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Whatever. What I'm gonna do? I don't know if this is copyrighted or not. Copyright. Use code RYLEC to support me, not LD4, because LD4's dumb. Most nice. of my edits are on edit release. That doesn't make any sense. It's called edit on release. This guy is a genius, I could tell. Things such as wall edits, I use two binds so I can hold my wall bind and place immediately. What? That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, it does make sense. When you use edit on release, you have to release your right trigger to replace a wall. But confirming with L2, you can just hold your wall down and just place the wall immediately. That's what that means. I don't think he understands. What? He uses two edit binds, apparently. <laughs> so he can hold his wall and place them? What does that have to do with edit on release? It doesn't make any sense. That literally is just nonsense just what so if you watch this video it's pretty clear that his edits are pretty instant hmm although he says hmm like my edits being instant like proof that i macro like what is this now i'm pretty sure that's copyrighted it's not copyrighted now if you watch this video watch his edits All right, I guess, whatever. Now, if you see him using the paddle in which he uses to edit, he's doing a single tile floor edit. 
This is the same thing from Serpent. Where after you see them cranking and doing all these insane builds, like wow, like their editing is so fast. Then you see them editing one tile without a macro, and you're like, well, I guess that's kind of. Okay, so what he's saying is that I'm turning off my macro for like one tile edits, and that I've just had one on the whole time. Don't really get where he's going with that, but. Fast, I guess that matches up. In reality, it doesn't. Watch this cone edit is so much slower than the other edits before it. He's editing one corner piece of of one tile. That is nothing compared to all of this. It's so much less fast. Yeah, because I'm actually running in those clips and I'm standing still. Like, the edit tile speed is the same, but I guess I'm just running. Or if he thinks I have a movement macro. Um, of course, we can't really compare any of like the hand cam to his actual game, but like we can with Rift. Because using a controller is different, there's a lot of different actuation points for triggers. I'm not sure if he's using the hair trigger locks and his right trigger either. What does that even mean? Like hair trigger? Hair trigger is like a mouse click. That's literally a mouse click trigger. Like That does not make any sense in correlation with a hand so cam. It would be really hard. Yeah, that. That right there. So uh, let's go to 46. Perhaps. So... If you see, his hand doesn't at all match what he's doing. Oh, uh, okay. If we put this to slow speed. And it just see, perfectly matches up. Just, that that looks very, very sus. It perfectly him, matches up. Controller, because controllers do have quite a bit more input delay than keyboard and mouse does. Okay, so first it didn't match up, and now I just have no delay, so that's why. Um, now this, this here is the clip that, to me, proves he's using a macro. Um, okay, so the clip that proves I'm using a macro. Watch his finger down here, the finger that he uses to click the paddle. It is clicking much slower than the edits are going through. Alright, yes, let's see. So this right here he's saying is indefinite proof that i macro he uses edit on release i'm quite aware of that um i did this on my stream because a lot of rift supporters didn't seem to understand this that edit on release still means you actually have to click for the edits um, i'm sorry but there are no players in fortnite that are as good as just jesus apparently so let's just watch this if you're watching he's editing a lot faster than it's literally perfectly insane clicking. completely so, in I sync mean, eh, kind of sus but I, I mean i guess it's not really proof here is the clip that to me proves he's using a macro to say well he's drag editing um if you look up what a drag edit is on youtube a drag edit is literally another another word for a macro macroing and drag editing is essentially the same exact thing looks like he's using a single tile macro but for the drags he's doing them legit um to i thought a drag edit was a macro this guy is just not making sense suspicious because when he's going through um a floor and a cone it edits just instantly rapidly like a macro but then he is it looks like he is like you know slowly or not slowly but like legitly dragging through the wall edits macroing and drag editing is essentially the same exact thing i think he's pretty much joking i think i saw him say on twitter that he was mostly doing this as satire for jokes but he still thinks that i macro so don't go hating on his channel or anything, I think he's pretty much joking at this point.